warm sunny summer day we want to compare in terms of cameras the p60 pro against the p50 pro and instead of my usual intro i will just talk about the specs directly so we have a 48 megapixel actually 52 megapixel main camera sensor with variable aperture on the p60 pro f 1.4 to f 4 30 megapixel ultra wide angle and a 48 megapixel three and a half times zoom the p50 pro features a 50 megapixel main camera sensor roughly the same camera size in terms of sensor size 64 megapixel three and a half times zoom but without macro capabilities unlike the p60 pro then a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle same on both and we also have a 40 megapixel monochrome sensor on the p50 pro and on the front both feature a 13 megapixel uh, front-facing camera with ultra wide angle which might be also very handy and I think we start off with the front-facing videos so this is now the front-facing camera of the Huawei P50 Pro it has a very wide angle field of view but I can also go a bit wilder if I want to to this kind of wideness here what do you think about this one I think it is a bit less stable than the 0.8 times that we have by default and if I want to I can also go to one times which looks like this the cool thing about this one is here it has autofocus so if I hold the P60 Pro here in the camera you can see that it is focusing on this and if i'm going away it's focusing on me 0 0.8 times i think is the perfect vlogging size what do you think about this one here one of the best front-facing video cameras i think on a smartphone to date and now this is a recording with the huawei p60 pro that also features a wide angle uh, 0 0.8 times which is the default and a one times zoom on this one here also stabilization is quite okay on all of them even the white one as you can see here is quite stable which is quite interesting because i think on the p50 pro and its initial firmware it was much more stable as well anyway uh, we don't have autofocus so yeah this is one of the downgrades here on this front-facing camera this is now the main camera lens of the huawei p50 pro one over 1.5 inch size sensor so you get a bit of background blur as well um, we have good hdr and stabilization uh, what do you think about this one here and of course 4k 30 we can record with all the lenses all the sensors but 4k 60 only with the zoom and the main camera sensor but when you're recording 4k 30 you can zoom out of course then to the ultra wide angle we have the usual slider here so i have to go to the back and then yeah we have the ultra wide angle ultra wide angle also has a macro capability and autofocus so i can hold something very close to the camera sensor here uh, like the p60 pro here and it should be able to focus on this one and of course we want to do a zoom test as well so we are at the little parking lot here and let's try to zoom in this is one times it switch lenses and it will switch lenses at four times which is now so this is now four times and i can go up to 15 times actually which is quite okay maybe you find something else to focus on like this here with the little text that you can still read here about the rules of this parking spot uh, on the little parking area so what do you think about this one here and now i'm recording with the huawei p60 pro also three and a half time lens here and this is the same sign that we saw earlier i think still readable at 15 times zoom and i can zoom in a little bit less like 10 times this is now 10 times as you can see here let's go back to this one here and we can zoom out here it will switch lenses roughly at four times again so I'll reach four times now switch to the main camera sensor now you can see the switch there and we are now at the main camera sensor this is the main camera sensor what do you think about this one here it has the variable aperture so f2 is probably what it's recording here right now it's a slightly larger sensor 101.4 inch actually i think it's 101.39 kind of inch if it's the same sensor that's the sony that the sony xperia 1 mark 5 is using and maybe it's also using this dual layer stack cmos sensor i'm not so sure about this one but yeah it's a very nice sensor indeed and you have this variable aperture that especially in the dark can open up further to bring in more light and give you a very good low light capabilities 4k 30 i'm recording here with sadly just like on the p50 pro i can only record 4k 60 on the zoom and on the main camera sensor so if i want to go to the ultra wide angle i have to record 4k 30 so i have still a slider to zoom out here at the 30 megapixel uh, camera sensor and i'm pretty sure this might be even the same camera sensor uh, than on the p uh, 50 pro so what do you think about this one and apologize for 
a little bit of uh, running nose because I have a bit of allergies here in this summer season. So what do you think about uh, this one here? Also, uh, let's try to do the macro test because it has also macro, macro capabilities and autofocus. Yeah, let's see if this is working as well as the P50 Pro or worse. So that's everything for the videos. Let's take a look at the photos. So here we go, on the left was the P50 Pro, on the right was the P60 Pro. We start with the ultra wide angle, both feature 13 megapixels and it's basically the same sensor. You can see that they have the real photo length of 1.8 millimeters, f2.2, they're using ISO 50 and basically also almost have the same kind of shutter speed here. So I think it's the same sensor, but we can see a bit of a difference in terms of white balance and colors. So we have much warmer colors on the P60 Pro that are actually more accurate because the sky color looked like this, not so bluish. It was a completely different day on the P50 Pro than the P60 Pro, which is like more realistic. When it comes to the sides and sharpness there, both basically on par, not much of a difference, but the center sharpness is a bit of a difference here the p50 pro is a bit better than the p60 pro even though the colors are a bit better on the p60 pro look at the green grass maybe a bit more process on the p50 pro the p60 pro is doing a better job when it comes to this side here we get a bit of haziness on the p50 pro but also more details in the shadows where the p60 pro is crushing the shadows a little bit thanks to a higher contrast so overall i cannot give a win here both are basically on par just a simply different difference in rendering and i have to say if i see this here also with a little bit less, less color punch in the yeah in the wide super wide angle shot here i prefer the p50 pro a little bit when it comes to the main camera sensor, we can see a bit of better HDR on the P50 Pro here, but also a bit more process. Look at here, it's a bit softer on the P60 Pro. And when we can see the difference here, it's a bit more over-processed on the P50 Pro, where we can see a little bit of a sharpening effect and stare effect here on the text that we don't see so much on the P60 Pro. So the P60 Pro has a bit less processing for sure. When it comes to macro photography, both feature macro photography, but super macro photography mode is only available on the P60 Pro. The P50 Pro doesn't have this, but we have the ultra wide angle that can be used as a macro like camera. You can see the P60 Pro is utilizing the telezoom camera for this kind of ability of 10 centimeters close up shots. And it's much better, much more detailed, much more better bokeh, uh, not so overexposed as on the P50 Pro and yeah, just simply better in every terms or ways. When it comes to the zoom lens, three and a half times zoom, a bit more haze on the P50 Pro, a little bit less processing and sharpness, where the P60 Pro is a bit sharper, less hazy, a bit too overprocessed. I prefer the P50 Pro because I can make it a bit sharper still, but the P60 Pro is so much overprocessed that I cannot make it a bit softer. When it comes to the zoom in for 10 times, it is changing a bit on the P50 Pro. It's getting, uh, getting a bit sharper and I prefer the P50 Pro here over the P60 Pro where we don't see much of a difference here, but you can see that the P50 Pro is a bit less processed, had the more correct color here, especially for the red, which yeah, the emergency uh, calling red is like this and not like this darker kind of red. And I think also the text is a bit clearer here on the P50 Pro. The difference in terms of like, yeah, how close we can get here is simply in the sensor that is used. We have a 16 megapixel photo here, thanks to the 64 megapixel sensor that is used here and the P60 Pro is using 48 megapixels. I think on, on paper they're using the same kind of sensor, but it's cropped in on the P60 Pro to reach the three and a half times zoom by default with the P50 Pro just has the three and a half times zoom here. I think this is done for the P60 Pro simply because they want to have the macro, ca macro capabilities that the P50 Pro is lacking. When it comes to 30 times zoom, I was also showing this on Twitter. It's a night and day difference. It's a generational difference. The P50 Pro is simply weighs better than the P60 Pro. You can see it already. I don't have to zoom in, but even if I zoom in, you can see how much better the P50 Pro is here in every way and shape or form not even readable this is readable yes the p50 pro crashes crushes destroys the p60 pro when it comes to zoom 10 times and beyond and i can show it to you prove it to you yes we have one and five zoom again the same kind of story i can show it to you here again different white balance i think the ai detected sky color on the p50 pro where the p60 pro detected greenery and everything's a bit more yellowish 
but uh, when it comes to detail levels yeah it's a bit over sharpened a little bit over processed on the p50 pro but it's working with much more details here especially in the brickwork that you can see that is simply not visible on the p60 pro and yes you can see the over processing here especially where i would prefer maybe the less sharper kind of look that we have on the p60 pro with the details that we have on the p50 pro here i have to give the win to the p50 pro it is more detailed so the p50 pro is winning 10 times and above zoom for sure against the p60 pro three and a half times zoom we have a slight difference here as well a bit more sharpness added a bit more processed kind of look a bit more smartphone look on the p60 pro on the p50 pro a bit more haziness a bit more softness uh, that it keeps there a bit more like yeah optical zoom kind of look a bit more dslm kind of look that you can see here that the p60 pro doesn't have so which one do you prefer choose your poison i have to say i prefer the p50 pro a bit better though i think the processing here on the p60 pro is a bit better for sure when it comes to the main camera sensor not much of a difference in terms of colors there's a slight difference as you can see here it's a bit more brightened up here the green a bit darker here a bit more punchy here a bit less saturated here and i think it's more accurate on the p50 pro here in comparison to the p60 pro but both using uh, the yeah almost the same kind of lens and almost the same kind of like detail levels here 50 against 48 megapixels you don't see much of a difference here in terms of the colors and in terms of the detail levels on both both are fine both are good not much of a difference nothing to complain about when it comes to the zoom lens indoors the zoom lens indoors on the p60 pro is simply better thanks to f1 2.1 that we have here look how sharp this looks like i can even zoom in if you want to and look how soft it looks like here on the p50 pro the p50 pro struggles even and sometimes it was switching to the main lens which looks lots sharper if you don't zoom in but if you zoom in you can see it's just a crop on the main lens which is some yeah way less in terms of details selfie cam i prefer the p60 pro here is a bit more realistic where the p50 pro i think it's a bit more yellowish but the colors here in the background are also an indicator that the p50 pro is doing some enhancing of the of my face so if i have to just choose from the look i like the p50 pros look a bit better because i look just better there but more realistic is the p60 pro for sure not sure if it's a difference between chinese variant on the p50 pro and uh, european or global variant of the p60 pro but there is a difference also there's a difference in hdr a bit as you can see here this simply is something that you have to uh, mention otherwise in the low light situation dark situation with a bit more greenish and yellowish kind of tint on the p60 pro much brighter than on the p50 pro that has a more of a magenta kind of tint and uh, yeah detail level is on par i would say but i would give this win to the p60 pro and the same goes for the ultra wide angle this is the scene that i saw on the p50 pro and this is what the p60 pro even with the same ultra wide angle can do in terms of uh, processing which is quite nice but yeah it's very soft and yeah not much better uh, zoom lens also much better on the p60 pro you can see also here slight difference in terms of processing here in dim lit situations but i think basically on par maybe a slight edge on the p60 pro when it comes to dim lit situations because the processing processing just has improved a little bit there and when it comes to the shots of uh, fast moving subjects like kids or dogs like this one here you get a bit of softness sometimes you have the snapshot mode which uh, is a bit faster on the p50 pro than on the p60 pro the p60 pro in general is having some issues when it comes to fast moving subjects and shutter speed you can see here uh, that it is much better on the p50 pro i took this shot several times and the p50 pro nailed it like uh, four out of five times where the p60 pro uh, just failed in all of them which is uh, yeah a bummer uh, sometimes if you get a shot sharp it is a bit superior on the p60 pro but just a bit uh, low light with uh, neon lights uh, there you can see overblown here less overblown might be aperture difference might be sensor difference size here there's a difference definitely and when it comes to selfies at night the p50 pro has a different kind of night shot so it's illuminating the screen or part of the screen and leaves a rectangle uh, for me to see myself and then when i take the shot it's just acting like a long light exposure because it's illuminating the whole screen in white for a few seconds and then taking the shot where the p60 pro just illuminates the uh, screen uh, until there's one square and then just take the shot immediately without illuminating the whole screen for a few seconds and you can see it in sharpness you can see it overblown highlights it's just simply sharper on the p60 pro here i like the p60 pro better 
Uh, this shot here, I like the P60 Pro better. More details there, the little dust particles that you can see. Also, the colors are more accurate, uh, even though the HDR is quite aggressive here on the P60 Pro, P50 Pro. A bit brighter here on the P60 Pro again, this night shot, and it uh, looks a little bit like evening instead of nighttime. Uh, detail levels a little slight bit better on the P60 Pro, but almost on par here. P60 Pro beats the P50 Pro. It looks like a different day times they uh, that I took those shot, but it was like a few seconds apart from each other. Noise on the P50 Pro and here the f1.4 and larger uh, aperture and larger sensor are working nicely on the P60 Pro. It looks almost like it's done in the evening still. And yeah, here the difference in zoom lens again. Even the night mode is not rescuing the P50 Pro and the ultra wide angle, a little, little less overblown than the P50 Pro, a little bit brighter, but also weird colors and a bit noisier on the P50 Pro, but a bit more smudged on the P60 Pro. I think I like the P50 Pro here a bit better because it's just like a bit overdone on the P60 Pro. Otherwise, when it comes to high res shots, on first glance, it looks like the P50 Pro is winning because it looks less processed. These are 50 megapixel AI shots versus 48 megapixel AI shot very processed on the P60 Pro but the P60 Pro look at the background maybe here the details in the foreground there it keeps them there where it is noisy and it is processed looking on the P60 Pro but it's too smooth maybe on the P50 Pro and a bit too much smoothening applied here in this algorithm a algorithm and you can see it here in the lines the separation is simply not there where it is bit better on the P60 Pro, but which one do you prefer? This is my conclusion and my analysis of the photos on both. P60 versus P50 Pro, which one is the clear winner for you? I think I have a preference because I think what we've seen here with the P60 Pro is definitely an evolution in a way, but not a revolution. We get the new aperture a variable aperture main camera lens but um, yeah you don't benefit so much there what you benefit from is the x match and more accurate colors for sure that sometimes um, look a bit maybe too punchy too contrasty in contrast to the p50 pro but have definitely more realistic colors when it comes to videos and stabilization i think the 13 megapixel front-facing camera is fine and it wins sometimes also against the p50 pros because it has autofocus and the autofocus can sometimes fail and then your autofocus but if it works then the p50 pro has a little bit tiny bit more capable selfie cam when it comes to selfie cams for photos however i think the p50 pro has a more pleasant um, yeah, look where the P60 Pro has a more realistic kind of look. Here you can choose your poison that you want. When it comes to the telezoom, however, very interesting because the P60 Pro is sacrificing its really zoom capabilities and larger zoom reach for to the, yeah, a little bit better tele macro capabilities that are definitely very interesting. Now you have to choose your poison there as well. What do you want? And I'm a little bit disappointed why they could not, yeah, just bring together both, like the good zoom from the P50 Pro, maybe even improved a little bit, and the macro capabilities of the tele, uh, macro ca tele zoom camera. That's a bit of a yeah, downer for me because we definitely have a worse zoom camera on the P60 Pro when it comes to 10 times and beyond zoom, where the P50 Pro definitely shines. And yeah, ultra wide angle, it's a matter of taste there. I think the P50 Pros uh, is in the center a little bit sharper. The rest is very, very the same, almost the same. It's better colors on the P60 Pro for sure. But yeah, what do you expect it of those two smartphones and which one is the clear winner for you? I'm a bit disappointed by the P60 Pro, even though everyone is praising it. I still don't see the value for P50 Pro owner to switch to the p60 pro because there's basically only literally one compelling reason better colors and telemacro capabilities but this is is this enough to capture you to capture your heart to capture your wallet to buy a p60 pro i don't know write down in the comment section what do you think about the, both of those devices and that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye